Hey guys, John here. Matt's gonna, Matt's gonna teach you guys something that he learned. <laughs> All right, guys. So, a little uh, public service announcement. Um, check short story. Um, I'll give you the long story also. But short story. Check your used firearms. You want to make sure that they are. They don't have any bad juju behind it. <laughs> What kind of bad juju did it have behind it? Um, well, I'll let you know. Um, <laughs> my wife and I, we were coming back from St. George. Uh, we went down for a little staycation over there. And uh, we were, got pulled over by a highway patrol officer. I had my Glock that you guys have all seen before. I had that in my glove box. I let him know that, uh, that that was there. I said, hey, officer, I have a firearm in my glove box. And he said, okay, let me let me see that. And I handed over the firearm. Um, he went back to his patrol uh, uh, vehicle. He punched in the serial number. Uh, he had, about five minutes later, he asked me to step out of the vehicle. He read me my rights, and he said, did you know that your firearm was stolen? I said I had no freaking clue. I would, at that point, I was scared out of my mind because that is a second degree felony. And since I'm in the delayed entry program for the United States Navy, that would screw not only my career, that would also screw the rest of my life. So who did he call? He call I called Mr. John Hill <laughs> so that he could confirm that I earned, that I have been paid that firearm for working in a couple gun shows for Nikki, yeah. and uh, apparently uh, that firearm had been stolen 2009 sometime in Idaho, so yeah, I was in was possession just... of a stolen firearm. Yeah, and he didn't know, and it was all a big bullshit, mix-up bullshit, but you know, yeah, you guys, check on your guns, when someone sells it to you, you should check which my friend did check on the, the gun. He got the driver's license and all the other stuff from the, the guy, but um, it turned out he's had it for about a way over a year. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he gave it to Matt, and then boom. So, you know, you guys gotta be careful. Watch yeah. for that, and uh, And I asked him if we would be able to contact him or any of our other law enforcement to, to run serial numbers in the future on used firearms, he said absolutely. Um, so talk with your sheriff, talk with your local PD, uh, run those serial numbers of used firearms to make sure that it isn't stolen so you don't have a situation like mine. Um, just wanted to give you guys the heads up. On a private sale in Utah, you could do that. Uh, but is a lot of guys, a lot of used guns I bought, what they do is they'll say, are you a concealed weapons? Yes, I am. And that's how a lot of these guys deal with it. Um, you know, if I sell a gun to somebody that I have questions, I write down his oh, uh, driver's license and all that. Because you ask for their driver's license and there's some squirrely stuff, they'll, they'll just say, uh, I don't want to get buy the gun. And I have never had that happen, but I know other guys have had that happen. And so something's really weird, like they can't have the gun or something like that. So. So anyway, but yeah, just be careful how you do things. You learned a little lesson. Yep. And, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, just <laughs> keep your eye out for it, guys. It happens. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so there you go, guys. So, and uh, Matt's still going in the Navy. So Sorry. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll replace you with a real hot chick, camera chick. Yeah, but what good would that do? <laughs> She's behind the camera. Yeah, but I'll, I'll get a see her. <laughs> well, I guess that's... It makes it easier for me to look at the camera when she's going like this. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, guys, keep your edges sharp. Your powder dry, anything you want to say? No. Okay, All be right, careful, guys, safe, guys, out there. Bye. See ya.